Hello everybody, it's 75 Lane Talking and I am finally back. Some of you have uh, questioned about it, some of you have hoped about it, some of you even despaired about it, for of it not returning, but here we finally are. I am ready to continue Ruby. Um, so I can't sadly remember where we, we, we last left off in the series, um, so I don't really have that much else to say. But I am glad that I am back though, because I will try to, to make that balance, you know, between what I'm seeing. Because my two main things right now is Ruby and My Little Pony. Those are the two main things I have to uh, catch up with. One having slightly more to catch up with than the other. But I will try and make my best. I will try to watch uh, like two episodes per video. So that way I can quicker catch up. But it also works in cases like this when it's apparently a uh, double episode, a two-parter. This one is Forever Fall. So... This will be exciting. I'm I'm glad to be back and I'm glad to continue this this, this great series. So if you're already my dear friends, let us load our trick weapons and get ready to roll out in Ruby episode 13 and 14 forever fall. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> If this is a good theme song, I kinda miss it. Your heart will open minds, a story will be told, and the is in a single song. Sorry if I'm butchering it. How come John gets home so late? He's become rather scarce ever since he's been fraternizing with Cardi. That's weird. Doesn't he know we have a field trip tomorrow? We need our quest! I'm sure our leader knows exactly what he's doing. Hmm... I guess so. Oh yeah, Sean is still here. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Long time no see! Hey, Ruby. Did you lock yourself out again? Oh, uh... Nope. <laughs> Got it. So, where have you been lately? I, uh... <sighs> I messed up. I did something I shouldn't have, and now... Carton's got me on a leash, and Kira won't even talk to me. I'm starting to think coming to this school is a bad idea. Uh, I'm a failure. Oh, yeah, that boldy nope. character has something on nope. him. Nope. Nope. You're a leader now, Jean. You're not allowed to be a failure. But what if I'm a failure at being a leader? Mm, nope. <laughs> you know, you're not the easiest person to talk to about this kind of stuff. Nope. At least she's Maybe honest. You were a failure when you were a kid. <sighs> you might have even been a failure the first day we met. <sighs> but you can't be one now. You know why? Uh, because. Because it's not just about you anymore. You've got a team now, Jean. We both do. And if we fail, then we'll just be bringing them down with us. We have to put our teammates first and ourselves second. Your team deserves a great leader, Jean. And I think that can be you. Aww. Have a good night, John. That's nice. That's a nice little pet talk. Hey, it's your buddy Carden. I know you're probably busy with that dust project I gave you, but I'm gonna need you to go out and get me a bag of reindeer wasps. Go uh. And make sure they've got some really big stingers. It's important, so don't screw this up. I don't like you. I don't like him. Carton is a douchebag. He's probably the only one I really dislike. Yes, students, the forest of Forever Fall is indeed beautiful. But we are not here to sightsee. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest. And I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Each of you is to gather one jar's worth of red sap. However, this forest is full of the creatures of Grimm, so be sure to stay by your teammates. We will rendezvous back here at four o'clock. Have fun! Come on, buddy. Let's go. John. Ah, oh, damn it. 
I think her name was Pyra. Oh, this, they are just yeah. giant ass douchebags. Uh, hey, great work, Johnny boy. Now that wasn't too hard, was it? I think I'm allergic to this stuff. Great, great, great. So, John, I bet you're asking yourself, why did my buddy Carden ask me to collect six jars of tree sap when there's only five of us? That is one of the many questions I have asked myself today, yes? Well, come with me and you'll find out. Oh. What are they doing? Yeah. You're not supposed to drink it. Cardin, what's going on? Payback. Pira? What are you- That's the girl. Red haired, know it all, thinks she's so smart. All right, boys. So Last she night, so she dumped you. Managed to round up an entire box full of rapier wasps, and now we're gonna put them to work. <laughs> now, according to one of the essays you wrote from you last week, these nasty things love sweets. I'm thinking it's time we teach her a thing or two. Sean, do something. Come and on, you're gonna do it. Do what? Hit her with the sap. Either that, or I'll have a chat with Goodwitch. And you'll be on the first airship at a beacon. No, don't do it, Sean. She's on your team. You can't do it. No. What did you say? I said no. <laughs> You've done it now. <laughs> At least you're fighting for what's yours? Well, oh, that was it. Okay. Go to cut here. Go to the next episode. That Carden guy is a giant jerk. And I really hope that he gets his upcomings and that Sean is the one to deliver them because, goddamn, he need, that boy needs some more spine. All right, three, two, one, go. This will be the day we're waiting for. This will be the day we'll open up that door. Oh god. I should probably stop trying to butcher this song. It is a good song. You know that wasn't very smart, Johnny boy. I'm gonna make sure they send you back to mommy in teeny tiny pieces. I don't care what you do to me, but you are not messing with my team. What? You think talk like that makes you tough? You think you're a big strong man now? Yeah. He's Aura! <coughs> Let's see how much of a man you really are. And let's see how big of a man you are. Oh dear. Seems a green bear likes sweets. Oh. Hear that? Ursa, Ursa! What? Where? Back there, it's got carded! Sean! Yang, you and Blake, go get Professor Goodwitch! You two, go with them! There could be more! <laughs> Come on, Sean, it's time to man up! <laughs> time to man up! Oh 
Come on, Sean. Wait. Ooh, damn. Oh, ow, ow. Come on, you have heart. Be a Captain America. Show your heart. Oh. Holy damn! Uh, what? How did you... Well, Ruby has her speed. You have your glyphs. My semblance is polarity. Oh, oh. You can control poles. No, you dunce! It means she has control over magnetism. Magnets are cool, too. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, we gotta tell them what happened. We could. Or perhaps we could just keep it our little secret. Let Sean get a bit of a epicness boost. I'm okay with that, to be honest. Holy crap, Sean! Don't ever mess with my team, my friends, ever again. Got it? <laughs> Damn! Just got yourself served! Oh my goodness. No card in tonight? I thought you two were best buds. Pira, I'm sorry. I was a jerk. You were only trying to be nice and... I, I had all this stupid macho stuff in my head. Sh Interruptions. One, two, three. Sean, it's okay. Your team really misses their leader, you know. You should come down. Ren made pancakes. No syrup, though. <laughs> making pancakes, making, making Wait. pancakes. I know I don't deserve it after all that happened, but would you still be willing to help me? To help me become a better fighter? Ooh. That's Merc. Hey! Your stance is all wrong. You need to be wider and lower to the ground. <laughs> Let's try that again. I smell shipping! And I'm all for it. Man, I'm donating to that ship. Alright. So that was Forever Fall of Ruby, episode 13 to 14, and I really liked it. It, it, it gave some much needed development for Sean, or not much needed, just some appreciated development. Um, making him a bit more... Man! <laughs> giving him a bit more backbone. I think it really helped, it was really cool. Um, also, also cool to learn more about uh, semblances. I call them auras, I don't know if I, that was totally incorrect. Uh, but yeah, Ruby Speed, uh, Vice Glyphs, and now Pura is uh, Magnetism, which is really cool. I guess that Sean's would be defensive and semblances, since he has a shield and everything. I would guess that. Uh, while Yang is just pure, right? Bam, bam, right in the kisser. Um, but yeah. Those cool, uh, cool episodes. I cannot wait to. I am so excited to be back in Ruby, and I'm looking very much forward to continuing it. Um, yeah, pretty much it. So, thank you, all, thank you all very much for watching, my dear, dear friends. I hope you all enjoyed this little return to Ruby, and I will be sure to continue it with time. I have to, of course, balance in Ruby with My Little Pony and whatever else I'm wanting to react to. But as always, my dear friends, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, please tell me in the comments below what you think about the episodes, my reaction, and the channel in general. Please tell me both positive and negative, so I can use it all to grow and evolve into a better entertainer for you guys. 
But as always, my dear friends, thank you very much for watching. My name is Pichani Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time.